So I decided it's dinner time. Um, I'm not sure if this sunset is gonna be worth a landscape photo because the sun is really high still when it gets behind the mountain. That's soon gonna happen. And there are no clouds to reflect the sun uh, light yet, so I'm a bit skeptical. So I decided maybe it's better time to have dinner. Today cheese noodles. They're more of an experiment. They have the least calories per weight in my dinner planning. That's why they are an experiment. I have to go first. For the other days I have two months. But we're gonna talk about the equipment a bit tomorrow or another day. It's a huge compromise what you want to bring on a trip like this. If you wanna if you like hiking outdoors and taking video material, you have to make a trade-off and this time it's it has fallen more for taking videos, so I'm gonna explain that later. <laughs> Are we getting there? I, I, now I really get hungry. Now I really get hungry. Looking forward to some food. Actually to a full night's sleep, but that's not gonna happen. Uh, we go up at night and we go up early in the morning and then we can maybe sleep in again. My food is now ready and the sun is gone. I made a minimal photo. I don't often do that, that I do f uh, black and white photography, but there's a nice silhouette of the mountain. So I tried, I thought I'd give it a shot. You can tell me what you think about it. We had to do something with the situation, right? Can't always choose. Um, this is my nice food. <laughs> it doesn't look that good, but it tastes good. <laughs> I guess there's a lot of taste in there. Um, I want to jump in here and shortly talk about how I approach a trip. And on the first day, I normally have more energy and more motivated, even if my night was long and on the train and I didn't sleep much, but I had more ideas because I was confronted with a really open scene. The mountains don't stick out too much because there are no trees, there's nothing to compare them. So I was glad that I tried a lot of stuff, that I did the black and white, even though maybe it's not that great. Or that I now tried to do a panorama photo, which I haven't done in years. I just, you start off with a lot of energy and then you're more creative because the trip goes on and it starts that you just hold your camera on whatever because you're just missing the energy and that makes your photography a bit less creative I would say so really if you go out try to gather all that energy up on your first days and if you're one person that keeps it going then good for you I don't want to say that you shouldn't like concentrate on a composition that you see in front of you. I think it's really good if you come home and you tried one thing and you got a really good photo. But I think you have to know when to give up a composition when it's just not working because you're on time and maybe you find something better. Yeah, use your time wisely, be patient, that's a part of landscape photography. But sometimes I think you have to admit that you have to give up and maybe look for something else to improve your composition or just to get another angle on the situation. Later we go up and I will do some astrophotography. Um, I don't have too much experience with that so it will be a great challenge to try that but I'm not sure if the night will be dark enough. So see you later.
Hey guys, as you might see, some evening hap- uh, Mosquitoes. Some even magic is just about to happen. And I just came out of the tent and I took a few photos. And I couldn't get the other camera, but look at it. It's just magnificent. Oh, so good that I came out. Just wanted to brush my teeth. Beautiful. As you might think, I'm really glad that this right now happened. I'm gonna show you the results of some multi-exposures, focus stacking. I think I don't go out at night anymore uh, because this is nearly 12 o'clock. So I'm too early in the year for astrophotography. <laughs> Even in Christian Sun, I'm too early. So that's not gonna happen and <laughs> <laughs> you can like this video, subscribe if you consider it, do it now and write me a comment about the pictures, about the trip and I see you soon for the next episode, for the next day. Sleep well, at least I'm gonna sleep now and have a long night that's hopefully more than three hours of sleep. Bye. Oh, good morning. Someone saw a reindeer. Let's go. <laughs> Track is over there, and I'm heading over there now. <laughs> Can't say that I'm feeling really good right now. I have to find a way to cross that river. <laughs>